When you create a new page in Microsoft OneNote, it will by default be an empty one with just the title and the date and time of when it was created. You can of course enhance it, for instance by adding meeting details from Outlook, but the rest of the page will still remain the same. Microsoft OneNote offers you the possibility of working with page templates. This is very usable when you want to get some predefined structures to simplify your note taking. To use a page template, go to the Insert menu and click Page Templates. This will open a drop down list. If you have used any page templates recently, they will be displayed on the top of the list. At the bottom of the list, you will find the Page Templates option that gives you access to all available templates. When you click there, a new panel will open on the right hand side of the screen. All existing templates will be listed there and grouped, so in order to see them you will have to click on the respective group. For instance, if you want to work with lecture notes, you have to click on academic templates and pick any of the lecture note templates there. When you click on the chosen template, Microsoft OneNote will create a new page and apply the template. The template can include a background picture and predefined placeholders. For instance, if you choose the Detailed Lecture Notes template, you will get a new page with a title, a homework section, a place for today's topics, important points, lecture topics and a summary. The simple Lecture Notes has only a subset of these sections, while the Lecture Notes and Study Question template has a section for study questions. Apart from academic templates, you have also blank templates, which give you an empty page with some predefined formatting like size or background color. Business Templates section includes templates which may be usable in various business contexts, from simple meeting notes through detailed meeting notes to project overview. The Decorative Templates section contains quite a lot of templates with various graphic enhancements, usually through some theme-related background pictures. There are many templates listed in this part, so it may take you some time to go through all of them. Finally, the Planner section contains three different to-do list templates. Please note that if you have more than one language installed in your Microsoft Office, the list of templates will display all of them in all the installed languages, so even though the Planner section contains only three templates, you will see multiples of threes displayed here depending on the number of languages installed. They will all give you the same look and feel with the exception of language. The predefined text will be written in the selected languages. Also the proofing language will be set to the default language corresponding to the chosen template. Below the list of templates you can see a field where you can select the default template for all new pages. By default it says no default template, but if you pick any of the templates from the list, each new page will be created following that template. Additionally, you can create your own templates. Simply design a page with all the sections you want to have in your template and click on the Save Current Page as a template. You will then get a prompt to provide a name for your template. You can also define if you want your new template to be the default one used for new pages. Your template will be added to the My Template section. However, your newly added template and the section itself, in case you didn't have any own templates before, may not be visible immediately. You will have to close the Templates panel and open it again by clicking on Insert Page Templates to see them on the list. Finally, if you no longer need a template, Simply right-click on it and click Delete. The template will be removed, but here again, you will have to refresh the Templates panel by closing it and opening it again to see the effect. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.